Hey guys, JR here. Hey, welcome back. Uh, got a few more goodies from from uh, from Ally Express that I got. And wanted to share with you, like I say in the last episode, you know, a lot of us don't have money or, you know, even a budget. We just kind of get things as we can get them. Um, so, you know, if you're careful, I find if you're careful with stuff, you, you can make it last, you know. Um, you know, I, I used to do pool and hot tub repair, so like as far as tools, uh, I have one here. I'm used to buying, you know, the name brand, lifetime guarantee stuff, okay? But, as a hobby, as long as you're careful with it, they're, they're gonna last you, okay? Just, for the most part, you know? So anyway, I, you know, I picked these up, and I said, I don't want to give out any prices. And something else I did notice, uh, keep an eye out for it. Like, when you're shopping around some of these, uh... Uh, internet sites, um, you know, the stores and the Chinese things. I've found that some of these places sell the exact same thing. Like, one, it might be $10. And, and you can go through a couple more pages, find the exact same thing, and it's like 40 or 60 bucks, literally. Like, a huge, huge jump. It's like, I don't understand if they're trying to catch you up, you know? Uh, so be careful. Um, look very carefully for the stuff and pay attention to the prices when you're doing it because sometimes it it it's it, as far as the the web pages they are identical, um, but one has a higher price than the other. So you know, uh, watch yourself on that. But um, anyway, I got I got these um, you know uh, these, these Allen drivers and they they seem pretty nice. They're um, you know, I, I've always wanted a set, you know, because for years and years, all I've used was an Allen wrench, okay? Um, you know, so I finally got a set, I've seen these, and some of these are very expensive, and they're probably good, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to take care of them, and they should hold up really nice. Um, you know, this one went down to 1.5, um, which is good, it goes up to 3 three millimeter. Um, you know, they're comfortable, you know, they don't hurt my hand at all, while, you know, the, they feel nice to, to hold them. And then, uh, I'm going to try out these servos. Like I said, I got these servos cheap. Um, you know, and sometimes servos, well, cheap ones are cheap ones. Um, but we're, we're going we're gonna to try it out and see what happens here. Um, this one's a Tower Pro MG958 uh, Metal Gear. I believe it's dual ball bearing and... I'm thinking, gosh, you can't remember the, the, the ounces on it. They, they mark it as a high torque, but it's really, really not high torque. That was something else I've, I've been noticing. Like, they might mark it as high torque, but that's like its peak, okay? Uh, if you can, see if you can find out, like, what the continuous is. Um, you know, I'm not doing anything serious with this. This is just for a couple projects I have. You know, I, I don't... I don't have a, a ton of high performance servos. So I'm used to making do with like stock servos. So this should be a nice upgrade, you know, to what I have. And I found a place uh, which I'll be sharing with you guys as soon as I get some. Um, uh, Illa, share, Illa shared with me. Uh, yeah, 1967. Illa just, he shared with me a, uh, a guy. Oh, I can't remember exactly where it was. But he does BECs for people. Um, yeah, I think they were like 30 bucks for a single channel and 40 bucks for two channels, something like that. So, um, I'm definitely getting me, so get me a couple of them that way to help out with, this, with them. I have another ESC coming. I wanted to try these out. Okay, I couldn't refuse it. I'm like, okay, it was 10 bucks for an ESC. Now, they mark it as uh, New Rain 320 amp. Okay, yeah, right, 320 amp. Um, but then, most of what I'm running isn't even. You know, I, I'm not even getting anywhere near that, so I should be fine for what I'm doing for, you know, trailing, crawling stuff. Um, you know, one, the wires alone aren't really heavy to handle that, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to be way, 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 way under that. But it does have a couple nice features on it. Uh, it's, you know, you can set your brake, whether you want brake or just forwards and backwards. Um, it will also handle uh, LiPo or nickel metal hydride. And uh, it also, I don't know if this is going to show up for you guys or not. Probably not. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to get my new camera yet. But uh, it says that it will take a 2 or 3 cell LiPo or a 6 to 9 volt nickel metal hydride. 
and it also says that the BC in it will do 5 volts at 3 uh, three amps and it also got a little on off switch now I will be waterproofing this um, you know I, I like to do uh, something very similar to like what Medic you know an RC Sparks does with the plastic dip um, I've been using the spray plastic dip stuff um, you know open it up you know spray it give it a couple coats and uh, I haven't had any problems with it you know I'll be waterproofing the servos you know and it, it that's something really really good to do like marine grease I just most of my stuff I'll get from Walmart okay uh, you know like Cal RC they make great stuff I don't have money for that okay something I have noticed that I like a lot uh, is a silicone spray I personally prefer uh, you know with doing hot tubs and rubber gaskets you know, I found I like the silicone spray. Personally, I like the liquid wrench stuff better. Um, you know, it, it just seems to work best. Um, you know, I've tried other ones. You know, there's a lot. Of, and some of them work. Uh, that's just my personal preference to what I like. So anyway, I uh, hope, uh, hope uh, a couple of these little, you know, tips helped you guys out. And uh, hopefully keep your RC in, you know, no no sense in, uh, you know, busting RC because you can't buy the motor you want, you know, at least you can keep playing a little bit and have some fun. And uh, fortunately, I got a six-year-old, so I got a great excuse to keep buying stuff, you know, either for him or for me. And so um, I'll use that as my excuse to keep uh, being able to buy stuff. So anyway, till next time, have some fun, you know, keep RCing. Later, guys.